Brackets have won seven in a row. They'll try to make it eight tonight, Patrick Cashin, and uh, they just seem to have that winning formula here lately. The offense has been clicking, Tom. The defense has been performing, and the pitching has been outstanding as well. Everything working so well together. A Dragons team that will look to make it eight wins in a row tonight, and this is another very important game, just a two-and-a-half game lead over West Michigan. On the mound for Cedar Rapids is Ty Langenberg, and for the Dragons, just finishing his final warm-ups, right-hander Brian Edgington. He's 2-0 with a 433 ERA in five starts, 27 innings of work, only 20 hits allowed. He's walked only five batters and struck out 25. Opposing batting average, 204 again the ERA, 433. The last two starts have been his two best starts. In those two games, it combined 12 innings, just two runs allowed. And the pitch by Edgington on the way. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. Got him in a 93-mile-an-hour fastball. Two out, and but 2-2 two -two now to Gonzalez. It's on the way. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. Got him in a good slider. Two strikeouts in the inning, and a 1-2-3 frame for Brian Edgington. 0-1 count to Cespedes. And the pitch, high pop foul, left side, looks playable. Hunter, the catcher there, Cade is under it, and he has it. And they get the dangerous Cespedes, who's had a good series, one down. Graham might be right on the edge. Swing and a miss, and that's strike three. Baez goes down swinging on a 93-mile-an-hour fastball. By the Twins, after he played for the Long Island Ducks of the Atlantic League. Here's a ground ball to the left side. Diving stop by Collier. Up throws and got him. Good play there by Cam Collier going hard to his left to make the play and throw out Wengrow. Six in a row retired by Edgington. I mentioned that Langenberg had had a rough start his last time out. Here's a smash to the right side. That's a base hit. Hard hit liner by Collier. The right fielder Gonzalez plays it back in. Collier's the first base runner for either team in this game with a leadoff single in the second inning. It'll bring up shortstop Leo Balcazar. That was a slider that he hit hard to right field. Just above the knees, but right down the middle of the plate. The set again by Langenberg and the pitch. Smash right side through, base hit right field. Around second call, you're heading to third. They're going to hold him. They're going to wave him in. The throw comes toward the plate, and he scores. The Dragons steal a run. Collier scores from first base on a single. Aggressive base running there. They did not think that Gonzalez would come up throwing, and he really didn't. Once he did deliver to throw the, the ball to the plate, it was off target, and the Dragons get a run. Boy, how often do you see a guy score from first base on a single, keeping in mind that he was running on the pitch and the throw was way off target. If the throw had been on the plate or near it, they would have had him. One-two pitch. Swing and a pop-up. Third base side, foul territory. Collier waving his arms, calls it off. He makes the catch over near the Dragons' dugout. So Ravina fouls out to Collier, the third baseman, one away. And he top the third inning. Pretty routine foul out there. Collier tracked over. Slow jog toward the Dragons dugout. Called it off and made the grab. One and two the count to Augustine Ruiz. Swing and a miss. He struck him out. Edgerton wins that battle. Slider thrown in the dirt. Ruiz swung and missed. For round number two, that is strikeout number four for Edgington. First Iowa Hawkeye to play for Cedar Rapids since 1982. Here's a ground ball sharply hit left field. That's a base hit. Down the second, a one out single. That is hit number four for the Dragons this evening. A one. Swing liner left field. That's down for a base hit. Allen being waved around third. Here comes a throw from Ruiz. It is a bit late. Allen slides in safely, and it's a 2 0 Dragons lead. RBI single for Cam Collier. He's now two for two tonight. Allen motored his way home from second base. Beat out the throw just by a half step or so at the plate. Slid in safely as Ruiz, the left fielder, threw that one in from left field. And Allen got just past that throw just late on the tag from Baez. Couldn't get Jay on his left shoulder as he was sliding in toward the dish.
Yeah, it's a pleasure joining you guys. And uh, Patrick, uh, the first time that I get to talk to you this homestand, so pleasure here being here. Ground ball to third, diving stop. Collier gets up and throws in time to get Cole Pepper. Great play for the first out. A grounder chopped to the left of Collier. He made a diving stop, extended his body out to get that. Snagged that ball in the glove, hopped up immediately and threw a really good throw to first. In time, retired Cole Pepper. So there's 10 in a row, retired by Edgington. First offering from Langenberg. Swing well at fly ball to the left field line toward the corner. That ball is gone. Off the retaining wall, just to the right of the foul pole. Carter Graham make him two for two tonight and the Dragons take a three nothing lead 111 miles per hour off the bat that thing got out of here in a hurry a line drive home run that went out over the left field wall near the foul pole off that retaining wall to the left of the Dragons layer and the one two to Baez swing and a miss and he struck him out there's that changeup splitter again. That's a strikeout. Wingrove grounded at third base, back in the second, and a good play by Collier, who's made two good plays in this game at third base, going to his left both times. Here's a line drive to right, backing up O'Donnell, reaches up above his head and hauls it in. That was a hard hit ball by Wingrove to right, but O'Donnell had time to go back three or four steps, reach up, and grab it. Dragon stole 228 bases in a season back in 2011. 103 of those by Billy Hamilton. And the 1 2 on the way to O'Donnell. Fly ball, left field, slicing away from Ruiz, going back, way back, looks up, and that ball is gone. It's a home run for O'Donnell. Opposite field, line drive, home run for Ethan O'Donnell. It's 4 0 Dragons. Fourth straight inning, the Dragons have scored a run. Second straight inning, they've hit a two out solo homer. Number seven of the year for O'Donnell. Opposite field all the way, he barreled that up. The left hitter Ruiz went all the way back and it just got above the yellow line. Up against the Dragons layer out there. Ethan Salas, who might be the best prospect in the league. Here's a swing and a miss and he struck him out. Got him on that split grip change up again. That's six strikeouts for Edgington. And the 1-1 on one, the way. Swing, high pop-up, foul, but playable. Hunter actually in front of the plate now. Graham, the first baseman, is in, and he has it. That's a big second out of the inning. 3-2 to Gonzalez. The set and the payoff pitch is strike three call, and he got him. Nice looking pitch there. That was the split grip changeup, and he struck out Gonzalez to retire the side. But Cedar Rapids gets two runs, two hits, an error, and a man left. There's a walk 36, struck out 56. Opponents batting 271 against the Windermere, Florida native. 0 2 to Cespin has got him looking on the outside corner. Beautiful curveball from Hover. Dropped right in there on the outside edge. Looks like maybe a chance to gain a game tonight. All right. Swing and a miss. Baez down on strikes. Curveball by Hubbard thrown on the outside part of the plate. Baez cannot make contact. Two away. Two strikeouts to begin the outing for Hubbard. Nasty pitch there. Hubbard, the one two to Salas, and it's on the way. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. Good pitch there. That was his curveball at 72 miles an hour. One down. Third strikeout for Hubbard. Here's the set again. And the 1-0. Rounded in front of the plate. Catcher out. Picked it up. Will tag the hitter alertly by Hunter. Out at home is Cespedes. And staying at second is Gonzalez. Here's the 1-2 by Simmons. Swing it a miss. And he struck him out. He gets Baez swinging to retire the side. They get two runs to tie the game. Three hits and one man left. The score, middle of eight. It's Dragons four, Cedar Rapids four. One ball, no strikes. Simmons ready, and he deals. High pop up, left side of the infield. Should be playable. Balcazar is there. The shortstop calls and has it. Two down. And the two wonder weeds. 
High pop fly, shallow center. It's playable for an infielder. Balcazar calling. Leo there. He has it. That's a one, two, three inning. We go to the bottom of the ninth. Dragons would win it with a run. Santos, the 3 0, all the way. And he missed inside, ball four. The winning run is on, but nobody out. And it is on the way. Squares to Bunt. Bunts it toward the pitcher. Throw goes to first, and they get the out. Boy, I thought they had a play at second. They took the out at first. So that works out for the Dragons. Here's the set by Santos, and here's the 3 2 to Rodriguez. On the way. Ground ball left side, crew, base hit left field. Graham scores. The winning streak is at eight. Put this one in the win column. Hector Rodriguez drives in the winning run with a base hit past the shortstop in the left field. The final score, Dragons five and Cedar Rapids four. Gatorade bucket on top of Rodriguez. Dragons win this game walk-off style. It's their fifth walk-off win of the year, their first since July the 13th. It's Hector Rodriguez, the hero tonight, as he drove one through the left side, a hard ground ball, hit it hard, got it past the shortstop in the left field to win the ball game.